Madam Speaker, today is a somber day. On the 42nd anniversary of the Supreme Court's tragic decision on Roe v. Wade, our hearts ache for the 56 million unborn lives that have been lost due to the shameful practice of abortion. But today there is hope because we have an opportunity to make a difference by passing the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act. This common sense, compassionate legislation will protect Americans' conscience rights by ensuring that their hard-earned tax dollars are not used to fund the destruction of a human life. As a mother, a grandmother, and a nurse for over 40 years, this measure is especially meaningful to me. During my years in the healthcare industry, I saw the joy in the young parents' eyes when they met their newborn child for the very first time. I held the hands of grieving spouses and children as they said their final goodbyes to loved ones. And sadly, I witnessed a young woman lose her life due to the effects of a botched abortion. And these experiences informed my life that all my life, that all life is precious gift from God. And I pray that in time, that this truth will be reflected in our nation's laws. But until then, can't we at least do this much? I urge a yes vote on the no taxpayer funding for abortion. And I thank the sponsor for his work on this deeply important legislation. I yield back the balance of my time.